Now let's talk about these Philadelphia Eagles because that's the brightest spot of the day, obviously. I love what the Philadelphia Eagles are doing. I love what they've done so far. And I immediately want to get want to lock in on the defense side of the ball. More specifically, the defensive line. The defensive line for the Philadelphia Eagles is arguably the best in the NFC East. Let me ask you guys this. Do the Philadelphia Eagles have the best defensive line in the NFC East? Let's really think about it for a second. The Dallas Cowboys. Their D-line is Demarcus Lawrence. Tristan Hill, Dante Fowler Jr., Nelvin Gallimore, Dorrance Armstrong, Sam Williams. The most talented defensive lineman, their most talented guy is Demarcus Lawrence, edge rusher. But outside of him, it may be Dante Fowler, who they got from Atlanta. But outside of those guys, who are who, who who are the rest of those guys? Their defensive line is extremely questionable. And then you think about the New York Giants, who have improved their defensive line. They have uh, Leonard Williams. They got Justin Ellis, Dexter Lawrence, Kayvon Thibodeau. And after that, it's pretty much. Who are the rest of these guys? They lack depth. So the Cowboys and the Giants in particular lack depth on their defensive lines. Correct? They lack depth, which is why their D-lines don't even compare to the Washington football teams or don't even compare to the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, when you think about the Washington football team's defensive line, they got Montez Sweat, Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, Chase Young, they drafted for Darius Mathis. They got Casey Tuhill, who used to be an Eagle. You know? They got some guys. That starting four, that starting front four, legit. But once again, beyond their starting front four, you have a lot of questions. How good are they? Where is their depth? But when you get to the Philadelphia Eagles, that's where things get spooky for the rest of the NFC East because they have depth on the defensive line. See, let's think about it. On the defensive line, you have Brandon Graham and Josh Sweat. You got Fletcher Cox, Javon Hargrave, Milton Williams, Derek Barnett, Hassan Reddick. Jordan Davis. Come on, man. Teron Jackson, you got to be. Look at that depth. The, 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 the uh, Eagles are going to be a problem. They're going to be a problem on the defensive front. The Eagles, let's, let's keep it in perspective. They were the, one of the worst Defensive lines last year when it came to rushing the passer. They were ranked 31st in the NFL when it came to when it came to sacks. One of the worst teams when it came to pressures. And I know I know a lot of the time we like to put a put a put a a, prior, a prioritization on the offensive side of the ball, right? But let's keep it in perspective. The Eagles didn't have a problem scoring points last year. That wasn't really the issue. Maybe we weren't efficient scorers, but we didn't have a problem putting points on the board. The problem was the defense, the fact that we couldn't get teams off the damn field, the fact that we couldn't stop other teams from the fact that we couldn't stop teams from scoring. The fact that quarterbacks were allowed to knit sweaters, make tea, tuck the baby in, read a book behind their offensive front. We couldn't do anything to opposing quarterbacks. As a matter of fact, we allowed nine quarterbacks to complete over 73% of their passes. And five of those nine quarterbacks 
completed over 80% of their passes. It's unacceptable to allow five quarterbacks to complete 80% or more of their passes in a game. We allowed quarterbacks to have career games. We allowed Derek Carr to complete 90% of his passes. What the hell is that? It's easy to blame the DBs. It's easy to blame the corners and the safeties. It's so easy to do so. It's easy to blame the linebackers. But when your defensive front can't get pressure, when you can't even get pressure on a blitz, man, it says a lot about where your team is. It says a lot about the lack of depth you have, the lack of youth, the lack of talent you have on that defensive line. But now Brandon Graham is coming back healthy. Josh Sweat is healthy. Derek Barnett is not going to be a starter this year. He's going to be a rotational guy, which is going to work more in our favor as a team. You have Hassan Reddick, a double-digit sack guy, who came into the league as a linebacker, but really, really earned his money as an edge rusher in his last year in Arizona and his on his, on his lonely season in Carolina, double-digit sack seasons back-to-back. I expect the same thing. You got Milton Williams, Jordan Davis. Derek Barnett, I said. Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Javon Hargrave, Josh Sweat. There's no reason why we shouldn't be top 10 in sacks. Matter of fact, there's no reason why we shouldn't be top five in sacks in the NFL. I'm calling that. The Eagles will be top five in sacks this season. Book it. Quote me on that. Write it down. Stamp it. Clip it. Whatever you got to do. Hold me accountable. The Philadelphia Eagles will be top five in sacks come season end. I'm calling it. And I'm calling this as well. The Eagles will be top five in run and run defense. Matter of fact, let's just call it what, it, what it's going to be. The Eagles will have a top five defense this coming season. I'm booking it.